In the sixth segment of the overview tutorial, we will take a look at a couple of tools located in the seventh row. These tools are used to generate NURBS curves or surfaces. These are smooth objects that are used sometimes in 3D modeling. Let's create a NURBS curve. We begin by creating a vector line in top view. Select the NURBS curve tool, click on the vector line, and the line is converted into a NURBS curve. Select the Edit Controls tool and click on the NURBS curve. Observe that the original points of the vector line are now the control points for the NURBS curve. Drag a control to edit the shape of the NURBS curve. Double click a blank area to exit the Edit Controls mode. Next we'll create a NURBS surface using a similar technique. We begin by creating four vector lines on the ZX plane. With the Self modifier and the Move tool selected, and the perpendicular switch active, position the vector lines as shown. Using the Pick tool, select each line in the proper order. The pick order is significant because the NURB surface will loft through the sources in the order where they were picked. Select the NURB surface tool, and in the NURBS options dialog, select by loose lofting. Observe that there are other ways of constructing a NURB surface from this one tool, which is beyond the scope of this tutorial. With the NURB surface tool active, click any blank area and a NURB surface is lofted through the selected lines. Select the edit controls tool and click on the NURB surface. Observe that the original points of the vector lines are now the control points for the NURBS curve. Switch back to the XY reference plane. Drag a control to edit the shape of the NURBS surface. Remember to use the perpendicular switch if you want to move the controls vertically up and down. Double click a blank area to exit the edit controls mode. This concludes the sixth segment of the overview tutorial.